listeners, thank you for tuning in again today for our math literacy class on sitting and layout plans, the practice and the application section. So we're going to start with our practice section. You are given there a stadium, a layout plan of a stadium. Question one says, Wendy went to Allianz Stadium to watch the rugby final. Determine the number of entrances. So we have to check how many entrances does this stadium have. So there is no need to follow um, the counting in chronological order. You can just count it randomly so, but make sure that you don't miss out on any entrance. So let's count clockwise. We've got number one, gate one, gate two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. So we've got eight entrances. So do not be confused by the word entrances while you are given gate there. We enter through the gate, so a gate will definitely mean that it is also an entrance. Okay, then B says you are from gate 8. You are from gate 8. Where is gate 8? We need to locate it. Here is our gate 8. You're from there. Then you went to the ticket office. So you wouldn't know which sign represents the ticket office. But luckily we are given a key there that indicates this sign represents this. So we can check that for I. It represents that it's the information point. Then um, that part with a piece of papers there, it indicates the ticket office. Then we've got all the other, we've got all the other symbols. A represents the Legends Lodge, B members reserve, C North Terrence, D premium lodge, so on and so forth. So whenever you are looking for something and you're given the key, you go to the key, you, you check it along with the symbol and then it will give you exactly what you're looking for. So we are saying we are from gate 8 and then we went to the ticket office. So let's try and locate the ticket office. So here is our ticket office that is closer to gate 8. Then you want to enter the stadium now. So you are at the ticket office, maybe you are done purchasing your tickets. Now you want to enter the stadium. So which gate is closer to you? So the gate that is closer to you, you cannot go back to gate 8. So it means the gate closer to you now, it's gate number 3. So gate 3 is um, closer to you when you are at this ticket office. Then see which block is reserved for members. So which block is reserved for members? We've got the blocks and the name, the numbering of the blocks are according to the alphabet. So we've got A, B, C, up until K. That indicates the, um, the reservation and who sits where. So we have to go to our key and check which block is reserved for members. Now we check, and which members are those, by the way? So those are the members that are the rugby members. The, uh, it's either the players of that rugby, even the other parts of the, the committees and all of those other people that are involved with that particular match. Then we check there. We've got A represents the Legends Lodge and then we've got the B which is the Members Reserve. So it means Block B. Where is Block B? Here is Block B. So it means this entire space here is actually reserved for what? For all the members. So it's Block B. Then Question one now, it says, the following is a section of a mall. This is a section of a mall. So when you are looking at a mall from above, you can see this on the ground floor. We are given that this is a ground floor. So you can see the following stores. We've got the Sun Store, the U4 Cheap Store, Furniture Show, um, Furniture Store, um, Fashion Court. We also see there's a garage there next to it. We also have the entrances, which are indicated by the numbers there. Then we also have the banks there. We've got a lot of different stores. We've got the hallway. We can see the waiting zone and that. So a layout plan must indicate such information. So question A says, what shop number is Sun Store? Where is Sun Store? Here is our Sun Store. And what shop number is that? It is 18B. So the shop number is 18B. Then B says, where is shop 6B? Let's look at 6B. So the moment you see something, you underline it because that is your point of reference. Those are your point of reference. So that is what you are looking for when you're looking at the map. So here is our 6B. So where is shop 6B relative to shop 67? Where is shop 67? Here is shop 67 using entrance number 3. Where is entrance number 3? Here is entrance number 3. So it means you are entering through entrance number 3 
then you go to shop 67 and then we want to know where is shop 6p relative to this shop 67 it is on the left side of shop 67 okay so shop b um 6b is on the it is on the left side of left side of um 67 shop 67 so that is our answer okay question c says faith used entrance one so faith is going to use entrance one and wants to use the rest rooms next to m1 so we check where is our m1 here is m1 and here are the restrooms next to m1 so give her directions so we must always be careful of where the person is facing when they're going towards a particular area so that we can identify or the the correct direction that they should take so now when faith is entering this mall is facing up so it means that the left is uh, um, on the left and the right is on the right now what do we do? Faith is walking towards M1 so that she can use these restrooms. So the first thing is she goes towards, she has to pass um, the shop 36 and 37 in between those. And then she will have to turn to the right. Now she turns to the right at shop number 40. She takes a right, then she continues. Now she's facing that direction, right? So when she's facing that direction, even if it means you must turn the paper so that the pen faces that direction, then it's okay. Now, Faith has to turn because she's going to M1. When between shop 47 and 54, she has to turn now to the right again. It's a right because she was facing that direction. So it's still the right. Now she's facing down. So when she's facing down, it means now the direction is now opposite of when she was entering entrance one. So now she's facing down. It means now the left is on the right and the right is on the left. So what does that mean? Now she has to turn between shop 51 and 50, um, shop 51 and bank two. So it means she's turning to the left hand side now. Then she will see the toilets just straight ahead. So let's write the set of directions. We use point forms to write directions. Okay, so from entrance one, so we say our right entrance one she will turn entrance one then she turns right at shop 40 at shop number 40 and then the next bullet she will continue straight then she will turn now another right between shop 47 and 54 turn right between oh sorry turn right uh, turn right between um, 47 and 54 then continue straight down so just before entrance 2 before entrance 2 turn left she turns left uh, between it's between shop 51 between 51 and bank bank 2 so now then the conclusion the final one can i write it here then it will say now after turning that left between 51 and bank 2 then the toilets the toilets will be straight ahead of her it will, will be straight ahead of her so this is how we write our directions there's ahead of her so there's no need to write all that information that we said whenever we were giving her direction you just write down the most important points that at entrance one you will go straight and then you will turn between shop 30 i mean at fort at shop 40 which is at the corner then you continue straight then you will only turn right at 47 and 54 you continue straight down before entrance two you will turn to the left between 51 and bank two then you will reach your destination it is important that you write the destination that the person will reach that destination or where the destination is then the next question, which sign indicates that the mall has more than one floor? 
a sign, not a word. So the word that says ground level, yes, it indicates that there is another level apart from the ground one. But they want a sign, not a word. So which sign they will indicate that there is more than one floor. So this is the sign. This is the sign. The sign of an escalator. It's the sign of an escalator that has an arrow indicating that it's an escalator going up. There's also another sign of an escalator there between shop 63 and 64 that goes up again. So these signs, they indicate to us that there is another floor just above the ground floor. So you can either draw that sign or you can write it that it's an SS escalator sign. And where is the sign? It is between shop 16 and 22, uh, between... 16 and 22 or between 63 and 64. So you're even giving them the location of where that um, escalator is. So let's take a break and then we'll continue with the application question after the break.